Give it up for the one and only Amir Jafari here talking about creating data agents in fabric for multi-agent AI solutions. And, and as a bonus, we have Joanne here for moral support. Give it up for Joanne for moral support, everybody, please. Thank you. And then also we have the speaker. The stage is yours. Um, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. I'm Amir Jafari, and I'm a product manager in AI team at Microsoft Fabric. So today we are going to talk about creating data agents in Fabric for multi-agent AI solutions. So let's just quick agenda. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about what is Fabric data agents, and then I'm going to walk you through some of our new integrations for multi-agent multi solutions, including uh, integration between Fabric and Microsoft Copilot Studio, Copilot in Power BI, and Azure AI Foundry agent services. So uh, for those of you who don't know or have not heard much about Microsoft Fabric, uh, it's, a data, it's a unified um, data platform for AI um, transformation. And when we talk about AI in Fabric, you'll find that AI is basically infused throughout the Fabric platform and all of the experiences. So in each of these workloads, from data factory, data ingestion, analytics, to Power BI, you'll find dedicated AI experiences tailored to different personas working in different workloads. But in this session, I'm going to actually especially focus on building custom AI, custom gen AI for your own um, data. All right, so we mentioned a few times so far data and data agents, but what is actually Fabric Data Agent? So Fabric Data Agent is a conversational agent that allows you to interact with your data in natural language to gain valuable insights. Simply, it allows you to analyze and have a conversation with your data, right? So Microsoft Fabric is where your data lives. We have one lake where all your data lives. So, and then now you can build this data agent over your data that lives in Microsoft Fabric, right? So your data could be in a lake house, could be in a warehouse, uh, real-time data known as KQL database, or Power BI data says also known as semantic models, right? So as you can see here, your data lives in different types of data sources, and you, you start setting up this um, data agent. So you can connect different data sources, whether lake house, warehouse, semantic model, or KQL, to your um, data agent. You kind of stop like uh, providing some context and customize and configuration, right? So there could be some business terminologies that is using your organization. You can provide all of those contexts to um, data agent, um, and then um, you can even like uh, like uh, like uh, add different tools. Soon we will be working to like uh, pro uh, supporting. MCP, you have been hearing a lot, MCP in this conference, model context, uh, con model context protocol. You can bring your own tools and connect your data agent. And finally, you can actually publish it and share this data agent with your colleagues across your organization who want to use that. And when we're talking about your colleagues, they, they might have different scenarios. They may want to actually use this data agent in Microsoft Fabric. They may want to use it in Azure AI Foundry to build more custom agents. They might maybe want to build it in um, Microsoft Copilot Studio or um, to get into Teams or like Copilot in Power BI. So we are trying to cover different personas as your consumers who want to basically um, use, different da um, use data agent in different um, scenarios. So we have talked about um, data agent, but actually let's um, play a demo and see like how, what is this data agent, how it can actually create it and all that. So, you want to build a data agent that provides some insight about your customers. The first step that you actually start creating a data agent, and you go to Fabric, you choose a data agent, and you start by basically assigning a name. So for example, you're gonna set like Contoso Customer Expert, okay? So this data agent is basically specialized on your customer information. As I said, the first step is actually add data to your data agent, right? And your data lives in one lake in Fabric, so as a first step, you actually start adding data source. You start by adding a semantic model, which is called Contoso Customer Loyalty Program. It has information about like loyalty program of different customers, right? And again, you can add, add different data sources. But for the first step, let's just start with this um, semantic model. So you add this uh, semantic model to your data source, to your data agent as your first data source. And then it will actually show you the tables that lives in the semantic model. First step, you actually select the tables. You want to select the relevant tables for this data agent. And as simple as that, you can actually start asking a question. You're going to ask, like, for example, uh, who are the top five loyalty customers? 
And as you can see, data agent would actually give you the answers, right? But not only that, it would actually also shows you how it retrieved the answer. It you show you the query that it used, which is able actually help you to debug the data agent and gives you some confidence and trust because you actually can go through the steps that it used. Now, you realize you want more information about your customers, so you actually go and add a lake house now, a second data source. It's a, I have information about the sales and internet sales and all of that. Same as before, you're gonna actually select relevant tables. So I'm gonna select some of the table from my lake house now this time. And as in every agentic framework, I'm gonna provide some instructions to my agent that, hey, if you're gonna use um, information about customer loyalty, use my semantic model. If you need some information about internet sales and product sales, use these um, lake house, right? So you're gonna provide some instructions to, to the data agent. I know you, as simple as that, you're actually gonna ask the second question. Um, what else can you actually tell me about these customers? And as you can see, now data agent would actually go and provide some information. Great, but now I'm seeing that, um, again, I'm going to like do some debugging and I can see that it's actually only used the semantic model, the first data source that I added. It didn't leverage the additional information that lives in a lake house, right? So I can see that, oh, I need some sort of a config, I need to do some customization, I need to do some configuration. So as a, to, to enable that, I'm actually gonna provide some example queries known as few shots, right? So I'm gonna guide my AI that, hey, would it, like leverage this sort of customization, this type of information to answer my question. As simple as that, I'm gonna provide that a question and, and the corresponding SQL query, right? And now I'm actually gonna ask the same question again. What else can you tell me about these customers? As you can see, now the data agent has learned to use both the lake house and the semantic model to give me the answer. Now you can see that you actually show me the SQL query. Again, it helps me build confidence and trust that what SQL query you used to gain um, to retrieve the answer. Now, I, I feel like I need, I wanna add more, um, more data source to my, um, to my data agent, right? I wanna get more information and all of that. Right, so to do that, I'm actually gonna um, add another data source, which is about like a package deliveries for these customers, right? So I've added that data source, selected a table. Now I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna ask some other question, which is basically, um, I'm gonna provide some more instructions, like um, how to use that. I'm gonna provide more example queries for now this new data source that I've added. I'm basically customizing, configuring it my data agent to make sure it actually provides answers the way I want, right? I'm setting up, you're setting up this data agent. So now I'm gonna ask like, okay, for Diamond um, lo um, the loyalty program customers, tell me what is the late deliveries and per customer. Now, as you can see, it's trying to retrieve the answer. And interestingly, you can see that it gave me the answer. Again, it actually also shows me the step it took to get the answer. And as I can see, it actually, did a multi-step. So we actually first went to a semantic model to get the names of this customer who are from the diamond group. Then he went to the lake house to get the customer ID for those customers. And then finally, he went to the custo one to get the late deliveries for those customers. So you can see that you're actually able to reason across different data sources to get the answer. Um, so this is about data agent and like all of that. Um, for the sake of time, I actually want to talk a little more about um, some of our integrations, right? So in this conference, you have heard a lot about Microsoft Copilot Studio, and we're very happy that now you can actually integrate Fabric Data Agent with Microsoft Copilot Studio. So in Copilot Studio, you can actually build custom agents, and then you can publish this custom agent to different consumption channel, from Teams to your own web app, etc. Now. Um, in Microsoft Copilot Studio, you can actually build connected agents. So you have built your data agent in Fabric. Now you can bring it as an agent in Microsoft Copilot Studio, where you can actually have this custom agent and grounded response in your organizational, organizational data that lives in uh, Fabric. And just bear in mind, in terms of security, we respect all of your security access that lives in Fabric as well as in Copilot Studio. Now, let me actually show you another demo how you can leverage that one. So imagine like you have in Fabric, you have built this data agent in Fabric, you have validated that it's working as expected, the answers are correct. You're gonna publish this data agent, you're gonna provide some description about, okay, what does this data agent do, all, do and all of that. It shows some information about the customer behavior, right? Now you're gonna um, 
easily navigate to Microsoft Copilot Studio. There you can see that right now my custom agent in Copilot Studio does not have any knowledge, any tools, and any agents. But now I can actually go and add my Fabric Data Agent. So I go to the agent. I'm going to add Fabric Data Agent, right? So I can um, click on Microsoft Fabric, select all of the data agents from Fabric that I have access to. I'm going to add the customer sales one, add it to my uh, Copilot Studio. So you can now see that there's a connected agent scenario. They have multi agents working together. And again, you can add different agents, you can add different like tools. Right now, I have like a data agent add to Fabric. I'm going to publish it. And now I'm going to decide that where actually my colleagues stay. Right? So my colleagues are mostly in Microsoft Teams. They want to just ask questions and get insights from all of this data. So I'm going to basically uh, go to channels and select, like, for example, Microsoft Teams. I'm going to uh, Microsoft Teams and publish it. And now I'm easily in Microsoft Teams, right? So now I'm going to actually si simply ask question, what is, for example, most, most common occupation uh, among co uh, customers with the highest, for example, yearly income? And now you are in Teams. You don't need to navigate to Copilot Studio. You don't need to navigate to Fabric. You can easily get the answers. So your colleagues who just want to stay in Teams, get insights from data, they can basically interact with this custom agent, which leverage Fabric Data Agent as well as other agents, or even take actions, send an email to you, and get their work done. So this is about our integration with Microsoft Copilot Studio. Another integration that I want to talk about is about integration with Copilot in Power BI. Um, so for those of you now that Copilot in Power BI um, is a new experience in Power BI, is an immersive, full experience in Power BI. It has search capabilities. One of the challenges that we have usually, if you have access to different reports and all of that, you don't know where your answer lives, right? You have access to many reports, but you don't know which report to look for. So with this um, immersive experience, this like full screen experience, you would be able to actually um, ask questions and then the co-pilot in Power BI would leverage search capabilities to actually search for the relevant items. So again, like here, and then now we also have integration between Fabric Data Agent. So now um, here, I'm gonna ask a question, which is like, what are the best selling video games of all time? And on which platform were they released? You can see that the Copilot in Power BI would actually leverage the search capability. It shows me the relevant items, the semantically they're relevant, and then tell me that these are the ones. So now I can pick which item I want. And I feel like I'm, I think that gaming agent, it has information about the um, gaming sales and platforms. So I'm going to select that one. And now it's actually going to invoke the Fabric Data Agent. So you and fab, from Fabric Data Agent, you would have access to your data that is a lake house, is a warehouse, like semantic model, Power BI, data sets or KQL. So it's actually going to leverage that one. So you can stay in Copilot and Power BI. You don't need to switch back and forth between the data agent and Power BI in Copilot um, and then get answers to your questions. Additionally, if you feel like you know which data agent you can work on, you can even like move forward and add that data agent specifically to your Copilot session. So here you can see that I have access to different data agents. I'm going to add it to my Copilot session and I can actually start having a chat with my data agent in Copilot in Power BI. So for business users who just want to get answers to the questions, this is another venue that you can actually leverage Fabric Data Agent. Um, finally, another, um, another consumption channel or integration that I want to talk about is about AI Foundry. Again, you have heard about AI Foundry in this conference. You will also be able to leverage Fabric Data Agent in Azure AI Foundry. How does that work? So AI Foundry is this basically AI, AI platform that you can build custom AI agents. You can, you, have, you can customize your AI agent. You can even decide which GPT model you can use and all of that, right? And you can like deploy it to different channels. Um, so with that, now we also have Fabric Data Agent integrated with um, Azure AI Foundry services, which means that now you can actually add Fabric Data Agent as a knowledge source to your custom AI agent that you're building in Foundry and now your AI agent in Foundry is grounded in the responses in the organizational data that lives in Fabric. As simple as that, again, you're in AI Foundry. You can basically um, create an agent. You can select a name. And then um, you can easily go and add a knowledge source. Right? You can see that Microsoft Fabric is a knowledge source there. You can add it there. These are the different uh, connection or data, source, um, data agents that I have. Um, in any agentic framework, I'm going to provide some instructions that under which circumstances use the data agent. 
And as, as simple as that, I can now I start asking questions and get answers. So now the Foundry agent would actually invoke a data agent and provide me answers. This is also about our integration. I only see I have only about 10 seconds. I want to thank you for um, joining this session. If you want to explore data agents in Fabric, these are the links. You can also, as the experts, we will be at the, uh, the hub at level four today through until like 5 p.m. So please feel free to stop by. Thank you very much and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.